think is this I think it's happening oh my god I don't know these people there's so many people on my page right now they're streaming my song and my numbers are going up and I've never met them I don't know them these I these are my fans I think oh my god I think I'm a superstar is this what you were talking about with the superstar and I'm in like sing superstar and girl Okay, nobody don't know you. You can relax real quick, okay? Because, like, you in my ear with all that. And you can pipe down because they don't like you. They don't even know you. Chill out. <laughs> anyway, could we talk about your song, though? Because I, I think your song is popping right now. Let's talk about the power of a superstar sync. Okay, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. You ain't got money, that's cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I sort of like a bill collect the finance The racks are like the banks ain't lending up dope As soon as you wake up money then you start selling funny And I just can't hit them up Hey hey bubble on deck I'm your host Tamara Bubble A.K.A. your favorite sync superstar. Yeah. Look, don't get caught up on the words. Because I know you figuring it like, girl, you just called this episode a superstar sync. Now you're talking about a sync superstar. Why you keep flipping the words? Okay, relax. Okay, I'm going to break it down this episode. But anyway, I'm your favorite sync superstar. Yeah. Um, AKA, your favorite. Look, I'm your favorite just regardless. But I'm also the I Hear Money coach. AKA, also known as. Like, they know me out here in these streets for hearing this money. I'm trying to help you hear this money. That's why they call me the coach. Anyway, I be in the game too. Know that. Anyway, I'm out here winging it and bringing it. Look, let me tell you something. My podcast is an adult now. We got over 18 episodes. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit seasoned. I feel a little, like, spicy this episode. I ain't got no notes this episode. If I come out here, look, winging it and bringing it, chicken winging it, still giving you them gems because I'm bringing it and I'm slinging it and you loving it, look, I need you to come through with that five-star review because it's subscribe time. The podcast going to keep running in the meantime i need you to take out a moment look it ain't gotta be silent you can make noise while you doing it yeah go ahead and give me that like that share that comment that subscribe look my nephew said i need more subscribers we gotta get these numbers up yeah so that people can find out about the podcast and get these gems too don't be selfish ew like you hearing game and you not sharing with people because you feeling like they ain't finna learn how to be a superstar before i do let me fit look that's why artists don't be winning because y'all don't be sharing share this information with an artist that could prosper and you can make money with them how about that anyway i need that five star review during this subscribe time i need that like share comment subscribe and that review give me five stars with them five fingers like you know what to do we're gonna get into this episode because look Look, I got to talk about the sponsor real quick, though. I got to look, I'm going to cover the sponsor. I'm going to cover why this podcast was created. I'm going to cover the disclaimer. And then we're going to get into the show. But anyway, this episode is sponsored by the Sync Superstar Academy. Go ahead and take that challenge, the 24-hour Sync Superstar Activation Challenge. And I'm going to tell you why we created the podcast. Because then it's all going to make sense. Look, we activating superstars out here. Left, right, and dead in the center. Anyway um yeah this podcast was created with the following four goals in mind i want to save you some money in your music business i need you to have a business to be saving this money yeah because uncle sam gonna give you some tax breaks when you got a business so i'm gonna let you know when you out here losing money in your taxes when i hear you missing out on savings and deductions and all that i'm gonna look i'm gonna put you on game okay and then the next goal I'm going to look, I'm going to teach you how to make more money in this music licensing. I'm Look, today we're going to talk about a superstar sync and a power up in it. Okay, we talking about making more money in music licensing. And you're going to do that with them superstar syncs. Um, and then the third goal is to activate your mindset. Like, look, first of all, we need growth. Okay, in order for in order for you to win and sink, you're gonna have to learn and grow and prosper and be great. Okay, we need growth like it's edges. We need new growth anyway. We need you to learn and activate your look. We got to transform your mindset. Okay, we got to get your mind right. And then when that mind start growing and you see that new growth up in your brain. Yeah, you're going to activate your superstar. That's the fourth and final goal. That's why we got the sync superstar challenge because we got to activate it. Let me tell you, the superstars are ready within. I'm just going to give you these games so that you can activate it. Then you could be out here, look, getting superstar syncs and being a whole sync superstar. 
But before you get out here superstar and whatnot, I got to put a disclaimer out here because I've been giving like juicy gems. Okay. And I need to let you know that this podcast is full of my personal opinion. Like this is not no professional legal business or tax advice. It's free game. It's for you though. It's for you to win and grow and be up out here superstar. Anyway, let's get into the show. Yeah. When you talk money, I hear you. I hear money. What is that now? Hey. You ain't got money, then you start selling funny, and I just can't hit all my. I keep it moving like a tax collector, let the credit check, I let the whole world pay full price. You, wow. you ain't got money, then you start selling funny, and I just can't share that price. Hey, okay, let's get into it. I'm excited about this. So I'm excited to break bread, share some knowledge and some gems to all my future superstars. Yeah, I want to talk to you about the power because I want you to know there's some might and there's some power and there's some machinery behind a superstar sink. Okay, so now earlier I had mentioned a sink superstar and I had mentioned a superstar sink and we talking superstar sinks. Okay, don't get, don't get too, uh, don't get too hyped up. You ain't no star yet. You ain't no superstar yet. Not yet. It's coming, but you got to relax because what's going to come first? You putting the cart before the horse. If you trying to be a superstar without having a superstar sink. Now, a superstar sink, let me break it down. Then we're going to get deep into it. Like, we're going to look. I'm about to, I'm finna massage your whole brain. I'm finna change your whole mindset with this one. So, anyway, in music licensing, you already know music licensing is abundance. You already know music licensing is greatness. You already know you could do this with any genre and at any age. Come through grandma, grandpa, and little babies and children. Let's make this music money together. Yeah. Look, come through producer, artist, songwriter, top liner, whoever you are, any kind of weather. Yeah. Come through. Anyway, sync is amazing. But, like, sync is like even more amazing than amazing <laughs> because sync can be a superstar on his own. And so, you know, last episode we were talking about followers and stuff and how you don't need them. Okay. Boo hoo. We don't need no followers. We ain't crying over followers. <laughs> anyway, you ain't got to follow me. Cause let me tell you what's following me. This money. Look, these superstar sinks. Yeah. I like them followers. Anyway, um a superstar sync is one single placement like it's an individual placement like look you can have 10 songs and one song can hop up on it anyway it's one individual placement right that's so popping the ad agency or the music supervisor finna pay you six figures or more to use that one song they just look i'm telling you right now you got five songs in your catalog, so it could happen to all five of them. But look, they only want one song. They, look, they're not buying your whole catalog. This is not a buyout deal, okay? They're not going to own the record. <coughs> look, it's one sync placement. Look, it's not even forever, okay? Look, 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 I don't even know how to break this down to the breaky down of so that you can understand and you can know and you can feel the power of what's about to happen to your life, okay? It's going to change your life. Okay, let me tell you why. They finna pay you six figures to hold. Let me hold that. Okay, can I hold that little verse you got? Can I hold that baby weenie chorus you got right there? It's real cute. I want to use it in my TV show. Let me hold that. Okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Send me my money. Hold up. You sending me six figures? But 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 you don't know me. <laughs> Look, ain't nobody heard of me. You still giving me all that? I would have gave this to you for a couple of dollars. Yeah. But anyway, let me tell you why they want to pay this much. Let me tell you what. First of all, let me tell you what the sync superstar, gonna, what the superstar sync going to do. Okay. Because the sync superstar is the person when they pop off in sync. But the superstar sync is the placement. Yeah. It's just one placement. They're going to pay you so much bread. But let me tell you why. And let me, let me tell you what you're going to do with it. Why they going to do that. And then look, let me tell you the benefits. All right. So a superstar sync. Okay. It's fitting to have strangers come meet you and come find you. But let me tell you why they're paying you this much. So you have to think when there's a TV production, when there's a commercial or a campaign, which is a bunch of commercials, right? When they set up their campaign, because it's usually going to happen with ads. It can happen with TV too, but let, let, let's just get into the marketing things, right? When they paying you six figures, 
okay or more to hold your one song okay not even the whole song sometimes they just want 30 seconds look sometimes they don't even want your vocals they just want the beat <laughs> look you can hold the beat the vocals the acapella the stems what you need <laughs> anyway they just want a little bit right and they come to you and they say, we're going to pay you six figures for this little bit. We just want to hold it for a little while. Okay. Take it how long you need. Okay. If you need to extend it, you can send me some more money. Yeah. Anyway, they just want it at this one time, right? They're going to pay you the six figures. And let me tell you, when they make a campaign, right? They need money for the actors, right? They need money for the director. They be going getting these famous directors. Or they just have some talented directors at the ad agency. They be going and getting celebrities, right? They be paying millions for these celebrities to come and endorse their brand. Okay? Come, come and endorse that commercial real quick. <laughs> they be done paid millions to these other people. Look, they didn't be done had a set. Because I done did some acting on some commercials. So I be knowing what be going on in the background. I be looking around like, oh my God, who got all this? Ma Look, I just be looking around. I be hearing, saying, and smelling money on set. Like, <gasps> Oh my God, there's money out here. Like, <laughs> look, money just be out here. Anyway, I could hear it. Let me tell you what I be hearing. They be paying a the director. They be paying the actors. They be paying the, 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 look, the people delivering the food, the catering. Like, they just be having free food on set. Yeah, I be, look, action. It don't even be my part. And I just be, okay, this, mm, this is good. This is I, okay, I can act, yeah. <laughs> anyway, they be paying people, let me tell you. It be, look, you be thinking it's a lot of people on set. It be double, triple, quadruple the amount of people behind the scenes editing and adding music. And Look, everybody be getting paid. I'm trying to tell you. So anyway, all these people getting paid, right, to create this commercial, right? They done spent millions for the commercial. The music budget. They put a little money to the side for that. But I'm trying to tell you, compared to the entire production budget, the music budget be a little money to the side. But it still be like six figures and whatnot. Sometimes it be, when it's celebrities, it be seven figures if it's a famous musician. So yeah, when you get to sync superstar yourself, them numbers really going to be hitting. But anyway, if don't nobody know you, it don't matter because they'll still pay you six figures or more. Yeah, because they want that song. And they didn't put some money to the side for that song. All right, so... They're going to put that money to the side, right? And they just put, look, they done spent, I'm trying to tell you, because there's a reason I'm telling you all of this. They done put, look, 1.2, 1.5 million. They put, it's the budget for the commercial, right? However much they had to spend to get all the actors, all the celebrities, all the, look, they done put a whole production together. And this ain't nothing but a 30 second commercial. This ain't nothing but a one minute commercial. And then they got a little 250. Look, they got a ticket. They got a quarter milli on the side for the music. And they just pick your song. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, because that's what you're going to say when it happened. And let me tell you why. Because I want to tell you that the production budget. Okay, I'm trying to tell you. You need to know this. The production budget is actually less than these two magical words, media spend. Okay, so now look, I'm trying to tell you advertising costs is the biggest cost for the majority of any company out here that's popping in these streets. They spending millions. They spending tens of millions. They spending hundreds of millions. Okay, they spending billions. Okay, to promote this commercial. The whole purpose of creating a commercial is to then promote it. But they done spent millions to create it. So now, they gave you your six-figure budget, right? So they can use your song in, in, in line, in sync with their production. And now what you think they're going to do with that commercial? They fitting to put it everywhere. Look, you got to imagine, if they gave you six figures to hold your beat, they ain't fitting to put it in the, in the back room, okay? They ain't fitting to put it on the side, Okay. They finna highlight that thing. <laughs> they gonna let everybody hear, see, and smell this commercial. They gonna run it for years, possibly. It depends. You got to look at your agreement, okay? Typically, they run it for a year. That's probably standard. But a lot of times, they just run it for three months, and then they come back and say, hey, can we, can we run it again? Like, we, we'll pay you some more. Yeah, look, we want that song. You ain't even got to have no followers. 
we gonna pay you just to hold that song anyway the song is a superstar i'm telling you the placement is a superstar and here's why that media spin they gonna let everybody in the world hear it they finna put millions you got a whole machine look you look you unsigned and you looking for a label the labels don't want you okay labels don't want you but they want that song these these ad agencies okay they want that song and they fitting to pay and they fitting to move that commercial around the world and all these people gonna hear your song and be looking around like oh, what is this amazing song that i keep hearing like oh my god i love this song and then they're gonna start streaming your song then they're gonna start running and finding your song and looking you up and smelling you up and down and looking around like who is you? I think I know you. I, no, I don't know you. I don't know you. But I still like that song. <laughs> so don't don't get too hyped, right? Because the superstar think, look, let me tell you what it could do. At the very minimum, you're going to get paid, okay? You're going to get six-figure crazy paid, right? Now, every commercial don't do superstar things, but the ones that do, I need you to know, if they're paying you that much to hold that song, they finna move that song to the mountain, okay? They finna take that song to the moon. You might have a whole entire hit on your hands because you put it up in a commercial. I'm just trying to tell, look, look, it's the one-hit wonderism. When I grow up, I want to be a one-hit wonder, yeah. But I got a whole bunch of hits. I'm going to be a multi-hit wonder, but I start with one. Like, could we do one first? <laughs> yeah, anyway. The song is going to be out here because of the media spin. They're going to pay to get it on TV. They're going to pay to put it on radio. They're going to pay to put it wherever, digitally, internet. Like, they're going to put that thing out there. And they're going to put money behind it. Remember, you didn't have no money to market your music? Yeah. You don't need it. You could stay broke. As a matter of fact, you ain't even going to stay broke. Because they finna pay you. And then they finna promote you. They finna make that song a superstar. And that's why I call it a superstar sync because they finna pay you greatness. And then they finna make your song blow up. You know what? I have an example. I don't personally know this person. But when I had took a class on music licensing, right? Before I started teaching classes on music licensing, right? I was out here in these streets learning. And you know what I heard? I heard that this one artist, okay? I don't remember the girl's name, okay, because I don't know her. But anyway, what I do remember is that she had got a superstar sync. And she had a show, I think it was like the next day, right? So she got her placement. She went on about her business. She didn't really know about sync and the powers of the superstar sync. And she went to her show and she was looking around. She saw a line going outside the corner, right, at the venue. She went and asked the people that put the show together, like, who is these people and who are they coming to see? Cause you know, she know what she know the kind of crowd that she draw come to find out the line around the corner was coming to see her because of that song that was in that commercial. They came to see her over that superstar sing. She got a whole fan base that she ain't never met. She ain't never know. They don't even know her. They don't even know. Look, I'm trying to tell you the power of a superstar sing. You out here, you out here trying to put your budget together, trying to figure out how you can get your song on a playlist. And I'm trying to tell you a superstar sync going to get you paid. Superstar sync going to make that song a superstar. And that's why I call it that. Like the power in it, look, the sky's the limit. Okay. Because you could go from that one placement and that placement being a superstar sync to you popping out here in these streets being a sync superstar but you don't hear me you don't want to hear this money you don't want to hear this money you want to keep begging for followers you prefer to keep i don't know like you, you look you don't want you don't got agreements for your song you look you didn't read my book yet you playing around you look you don't want to go from a sync to superstar you don't want this okay i don't even know why you still watching i know why you watching though because you know look you know that what I'm saying is true. I need you to stop playing. I need you to take this challenge. I need you to get up into these sinks and get the superstar. Bubble on deck. Look, if you're broke, don't talk to me. I said if you're broke, you can't talk to me. Hey. I only hear money, babe. You talk money, I 